Hey everybody, this is Scotsman. We're just doing this one on how to fix up back in the bottom of your 6G or 5G test. Uh, once you look in there and figure out you got some sup back, you're going to want to mark it and then uh, we're going to grind it. Uh, we're going to grind it uh, pretty thin and you want to grind it wide. You don't want to just grind the very middle of the, uh, of the bead because you got to break down the walls of the the edges of the suck back so you don't want to go a little wide with the with the grind and you want to go pretty thin once you see it start to to uh, blue where you get it real thin uh you'll know it's time to stop you don't want to you don't want to pop through you see the little blue spot right there you don't want to pop through uh so it could just cause some more problems but anyway here's uh what the tungsten is going to look like we don't we don't lay it real far back we just try to do a real blunted you know tip a, a, a steeper angle like a 60 degree angle and uh, that helps with your volts and your pushing uh, for more penetration so what we do is we just we start up uh, turn the amps up about 25 I think we run about 130 here and uh, when it starts to swirl real fast you just add wire to it push about I don't know an 8 to 3 16th inch so basically the concept is you push as much as you can in until it starts backing up to the tungsten once it starts sizzling it's time to walk up and push again and uh we tungsten pointed straight in as far in in that bevel as you can get it uh you want to have as uh, get a close as tight as arc as you can have and uh you know turn it up 25 30 amps so it uh it works good uh, this method does uh, I, uh, but here's a before picture and uh, here's an after and uh, as you can see uh, it can be done you can turn your amps up push wire from the face and get reinforcement or and fix suck back uh, on the bottom as you can see in the video, the smoke's rising up. We wish ain't no camera tricks or nothing. So hope y'all enjoyed it. See you next time. So this was uh, number two out of the top ten tips for TIG welding. We got eight more to come, so y'all subscribe or stay tuned. Uh, like or follow our Facebook page or uh, just come by the school. We'll show you how to do some tricks. Sweet ass molasses. <laughs>